Will Power Institute Foundation on behalf of พระอาจารย์หลวงพ่อวิริยังสิรินทโร would like to present the biography of เจ้าประคุณสมเด็จพระญาณวชิโรดมพระอาจารย์หลวงพ่อวิริยังสิรินทโร the founder and chairman of Will Power Institute Foundation สมเด็จพระญาณวชิโรดมหลวงพ่อวิริยังสิรินทโรพระมหาเถระ A high-ranking monk is invaluable to Buddhism and society in Thailand and worldwide. He established the meditation instructor course, the Noble Eightfold Path Meditation Course for accumulating valuable mind power. The biography of เจ้าประคุณสมเด็จพระญาณวชิโรดม Before being ordained as a monk, to live is to fight. เจ้าประคุณสมเด็จพระญาณวชิโรดม whose layman name was วิริยังบุญทีกุล the son of ขุนเพนพาชนารม and Mrs. Mun บุญทีกุล was born on January 7, 1920 at p a k p r i a Railway Station, s a r a b u r i Province in Thailand. He was one of seven children. One day, when พระอาจารย์หลวงพ่อ was about 13 years old. His female friend asked him to accompany her to a temple. He was waiting for her while she was learning the mantra and praying with Pra Chan Gong Ma Chi Ra Pun Yo. He was bored because he had been there from 8 p.m. until midnight. He could not return home alone because the way home was very secluded, and he was afraid of ghosts. พระอาจารย์หลวงพ่อ kept repeating to himself, "I shall never come again. I shall never come again. I shall never come again." After a short time, calmness arose, and his body felt light. He saw two visions of himself: one sitting still, while the other wandered off. He was amazed and happy until a breeze struck him. He exclaimed, "The unbelievable virtues of Buddhism still exist. The happiness is so overwhelming. The surrounding world a garden full of beautiful flowers." After the mantra learning session was over, Pra Chan Lung Po told Pra Chan Gong Ma what had happened to him. Pra Chan Gong Ma thought that I have not taught meditation to this child yet. How can he attain a meditative mind so fast? Since that day, Pra c h a l u m p o had learned meditation continuously. One day, Pra c h a l u m p o having worked too hard and became paralyzed, Pra c h a l u m p o s father tried to find a doctor to cure him, but it was hopeless. Pra c h a l u m p o just lay there and prayed. If someone is able to cure me of this paralysis, I will devote my whole life to Buddhism. Not long after, there was a white-robed ascetic with messy beard who came to his father and asked, "Shall I cure your son?" Of course, his father answered. The white-robed ascetic then walked toward Pra c h a l u n g p o and whispered. Did you really make that wish? Yes, I did. He answered. If so, say that out loud to me," said the white r o b e ascetic. He repeated his wish out loud as requested. The white r o b e ascetic then took out a root similar to ginger, chew it, and blow it out, covering p a r a j a l u m p o s body until he turned yellow. Then. The white-robed ascetic left. Early in the morning of the next day, Pra c h a l u m p o s started to feel that he was able to move, so he tried to get up, and amazingly, he was able to walk. It was seven o'clock in the morning when the white-robed ascetic came and stood in front of the house with his eyes closed, waiting for an offering of food. Pra c h a l u m p o then offered food to the white-robed ascetic. The ascetic asked him to repeat his wish. 
After he finished, the white-robed ascetic then accepted the food. He told Praja Lungpo to meet him later at Tamarind Tree in Ba Suang Arum Temple. When Praja Lungpo arrived, the white-robed ascetic asked him to repeat his wish once again. And then told him to prepare food for the following day. However, the white r o b e ascetic did not show up, and Praja l u m p o r never saw him again. Under the rim of saffron r o b e around the age of 15 in 1935, Praja l u m p o r entered the novice hood as a white r o b e to practice basic Buddhism. When he turned 16. He ordained as a novice on May 22, 1936, at s u t a c h i n d a Temple, t a m b o n p o k l a n g a m p e r m u a n g n a k o n r a j a s i m a Province, with Pratham t i t i y a n as a preceptor. Ten days after ordination, he followed Prajan Gongmaji Rapunyo on a pilgrimage into the forest to find a peaceful, isolated spot. When they found the right place, they stopped to practice mind diligence. They sometimes did not eat for many days, and sometimes encountered dangerous wild animals. Sometimes they made long journeys of over 50 kilometers across mountains in one day, but they never gave up, holding firmly in mind the love of Dhamma and diligence over their own lives. Then on May 20, 1941, when Praja l u n g p o turned 21, he was ordained as a monk at s a i n g a m Temple, b a n n o n g b u a a m p e r m u a n g c h a n t a b u r i Province, with Prapanya Pisan Thera Nu, the abbot of p a t u m b a n a r a m Temple in Bangkok, as a preceptor, together with l u n g p u k o n g m a j i r a p u n y o as the first ordination teacher. And Pramaha Thong Suk s u c h i t o as the second ordination teacher. Praja l o m p o followed Praja n g o n g m a on a pilgrimage through Thailand's rainforests and jungles for eight years. One day, Praja n g o n g m a led Praja l o m p o on pilgrimage from c h a n t a b u r i Province to s a k o n n a k o n Province to meet Praja l o m p u m a n p u r i t a t a t e r a The great master who revived vipassana meditation, Praja l o n g p u m a n p u r i t a t a t e r a accepted Praja l o n g p o as his student and taught him advanced samatha and vipassana. Praja l o n g p o also served as an attendant of Praja l o n g p u m a n p u r i t a t a t e r a for four years and also during the end of the Buddhist land for five years. Praja l o m p o r had also followed Praja l o m p u m a n on pilgrimage and learned profound Dhamma from him. At that time, Praja l o m p o r had written down some of Praja l o m p u m a n s teaching. Normally, Praja l o m p u m a n forbade taking notes of his teaching, but after Praja l o m p o r read his notes to Praja l o m p u m a n he said, "It's good." Subsequently, his teaching was published by Praja l u m p o r in a book titled Mutto Thai. The morning of December 22nd, 2020, Buddhist communities in Thailand and the world over were devastated by the passing of s o m d e p r a y a n a w a s h i r o d o m our beloved venerable Praja l u m p o r Vriyang s i r i n t a r o at the age of 100 years old. He will always be remembered for his tireless work and lifelong devotion to disseminate meditation with the aim to achieve world peace and well-being of mankind. It is regarded that the master teacher Praja l o m p o r i y a n g s i r i n t a r o has tirelessly devoted his life for the benefit of Buddhism and society. 
With his great vision and strong determination, he persistently developed people to attain morality and ethics. พระอาจารย์หลวงพ่อ was widely praised, respected, and regarded as an eminent developer for country and education advancement, both domestically and internationally. His aim is to follow in the footsteps of Lord Buddha, who once said. All monks should go on a pilgrimage to help people benefit from happiness in the world. พระอาจารย์หลวงพ่อ has accomplished his commitment as a good disciple of Lord Buddha from the beginning as a novice throughout his whole monk life. ก็ขอฝากท่านทั้งหลายไว้อายุมันคงไม่แน่นอนก็ปล่อยมันแต่ว่าคำสอนให้สอนกันต่อไปคำสอนจะไม่มีสายจะเป็นคำสอนที่ปรากฏชัดแก่ท่านทั้งหลายในอนาคตต่อไป His works have been broadened all over the world with the goal to create world peace. Meditation instructors, Acharya s a lecturers. And all members of the Willpower Institute Foundation shall carry on p r a j a l u m p o s most noble task for the benefit of ourselves, our families, our communities, our nations, the world at large, and our future generations.